Hello again, my little cheflets. Are you ready to do some more math? Great, I knew you were excited. So on this page, you are going to practice changing pounds to ounces or ounces to pounds. The only known item that you need to know for this page is that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So, if I have six pounds, and I know there are 16 ounces in one pound, how many ounces do I have total? I would need to do the math of 16 times six to get the answer. Six times six is 36. Carry the three, that's 96 ounces. The others are done the same way. When you come down here to this one, it gets a little tricky. All you need to do first is figure out this one and then you add this one. So if there are 16 ounces in one pound and I have five pounds, 16 times five is 80. And I need to add the eight and that's gonna give me 88 ounces. Okay, and the others are done the same way. You'll notice that right around here, it splits and it goes the other way. So basically up here, you are multiplying by 16 and down here, then you're going the other way. So you're going to do the opposite and divide by 16. Okay. So if I have 19 ounces, how many pounds and ounces does that turn out to be? Well, if I know there are 16 ounces in one pound, I can take 16 out of that to get my one pound. So I'm gonna get one pound here. What do I have left? I have three ounces. So this is one pound, three ounces. Or like with number seven, I can do a division. 32 divided by 16 gives me two pounds, zero ounces. And the others are also done the same way. The thing is with this is that you want a remainder. So your remainder is going to be your ounces. Okay. That leads on to the next page looks like this. Mine didn't print out so well, but you have it. And it's just more of the same, but you probably notice that there's a definite difference between those equations and the ones below that line. So now, and again, all I need to know is that there's 16 ounces and one pound. If I have a half a pound, what is half of 16? Eight. If I have a quarter of a pound, what is a quarter of 16? Well, we know it's four, but here's another way to do it. Now you're gonna take the 16, divide by four. Here we did the 16, divide by two, because we're gonna take this number over here, this number over here, 16 divided by four is four. Three quarters of a pound, now you got a three on top, that makes it a little bit different. So three fourths of, which is a multiplying verb of 16. Some of you can do that in your head and that's awesome, but I'm gonna show you another way. So 16, sorry, over one, 16. And when you multiply fractions, you go straight across Fraction three times 16 is 48. Four times one is four. 48 divided by four equals 12. So your answer is 12 ounces. Here's another way to do this. Four goes into 16 four times. So if I make this 16, four times four is 16, then four times three is 12. So then my answer is 12. Can do it that way too. So 
So I'll let you do the rest of those on your own. And again, if you have any questions, call me, text me, Zoom me, whatever you need to do. Then on page, I mean on number 28, don't let this fool you. You got part of the equation here. You already have your three pounds over here. So put that here. And then what's a quarter of a pound? Well, you already did it over here, four ounces. And I'll let you do the rest of that. This next page, weights and volumes. So you are going to convert weight to volume. So in a recipe, as you know, now we're looking at weight. We know that with liquid, eight ounces is a cup. But when we're talking about weight and volume with, with dry ingredients like bread, two cups is 16 ounces, which would equal a pound. But in this case, not so much. So we have to do a conversion. So this is just a basic if then statement. So if one pound equals four cups, then four pounds equals how many cups? So you got your pounds here, pounds here, cups here, cups here, okay? So if one pound is four cups, then four pounds is, four times four is 16 cups. So basically what we did was we multiplied this number and this number in this instance to get the 16. The next one, if one pound is three and three fourths cups, then two pounds is how many cups? So you basically, what's two times three and three fourths? Well, there's lots of different ways we can do that. We could even make it a decimal. Um, one of the ways that I'm gonna show you is we can turn this into an improper fraction. So three and three fourths turned into an improper fraction works like this. Four times three is 12 plus three is 15 over four. Just bring the four over. So then I can do my math of two times two times two over one, 15 times two. Now I can do a cross elimination here or reduction. So basically, I can't remember the exact term, sorry. So cross cancel. So these two, you can cross cancel. Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. So if I go straight across, it's 15 over two. two 15 divided by two is seven and a half. So that would be seven and a half cups. You could certainly do that with a calculator. Absolutely. But you would have to know what three quarters is in a decimal form. So that's 0.75. So you take 3.75 times two and that gives you seven and a half also. So the rest of those I'll let you do on your own, but be careful because you wanna make sure that your units of measure are the same. Ounces to tablespoons, ounces to tablespoon. Ounce to tablespoon, ounce to tablespoon. Some of these are gonna repeat themselves by the way. Um, ounce to cup, ounce to cup, pound to cup, pound to cup, pound to cup. So these are all the same. But in the future, you might see them switch up on you a little. Let's take a look at the next page. It's really more of the same. If one pound equals two cups, now we have two parts to this equation. If one pound equals two cups, then one and a half cups equals how many pounds? We gotta stick with the same units of measure. Okay, so if one pound is two cups, then one and a half cups, that's less than this, right? So what we can do is we can use our solve for X, just like we had done before. We're looking for X pounds. We have one and a half cups here. So then we're gonna put these on the same side of the equation and then we can do our math. 
cross multiply, this is gonna be two x. One times one and a half is one and a half. This becomes a division. So one and a half divided by two, we're gonna turn this into a, into a um, improper fraction. So two times one is two plus one is three over two divided by two. So three over two divided by two over one, or you multiply the inverse, which would be three over two times one over two, which is gonna give us three times one is three, two times two is four, and that would give us three fourths of a pound. Okay. And I'll let you work on the others. However, you wanna be careful because now Let's see if this one does it. No, you're good. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. This next page is a little bit more of the same. We're going to the weight to volume now. So if one pound equals two and a half cups, then eight ounces. Now here's where they're gonna try to catch you. If we know there are 16 ounces in one pound, but we only have eight ounces, then that's a half of a pound, right? So we're gonna actually, we got pounds here and ounces here. We're either gonna turn this into a half of a pound or we're gonna turn this into 16 ounces. But the units of measure have to be the same. So what I call that is like a pre-conversion before you can do the math. So what we can do is change this. What I like to do is I'm gonna take this and make it 16 ounces and they're all going to be 16 ounces because you have ounces here all the way down. So if 16 ounces is two and a half cups and eight ounces is how many cups? What's well, half of this? Because this is half of this, so this is half of that. We're looking for cups. Well, what's half of two and a half? Some of you can do that in your head. So well, that's easy, it's one and a quarter. Mm -hmm. You're right. Well, how do you do that math? Some of you need to see the math, that's okay. So if you want to use the solve for x again, we're looking for cups. We have eight ounces. The known over here is 16 ounces and two and a half cups. That gives us 16 on the bottom. Eight times two and a half is going to be 20. 20 divided by 16. We can simplify this a little bit. Four goes into 25 times, four goes into 16, four times. Four, five divided by four, four goes into five once. Four times one is four, subtract one and one fourth. So this should be one and one fourth cups. Okay. And then I'll let you work on the others. Oh, I forgot these flipped. I'm going to have to come back here. They all are pretty much the same. There's one that I missed. I'm going to go back because I missed on the flip side of this one. This is very simple. Basically, when we use convection ovens, they, there's a fan in there. And so what that means is that it heats more efficiently than a conventional oven, which does not have a fan. So we either have to subtract 50 degrees from the recipe's temperature or you multiply like by two thirds, but we're gonna do the easy one. And if my recipe states that I have to cook an item at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, but I have a convection oven, I'm gonna subtract 50 degrees and that just becomes 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which you'll do for the rest of those. The one on the other side of this one is pretty much more of the same that you've done before. You're gonna solve for X. So if a pound equals two cups, then a pint is, uh-oh, 
Look at your volume measures. These are your, this is your weight, this is your volume. You got cups and pints. You can't, you can't have two different units of measure, they have to be the same. So either you're gonna turn this into pints or this into cups. Well, how many cups are in a pint? There's two cups and a pint. So basically what they're, they're saying, the same thing here. If a pound is two cups and two cups is one pound, that's easy. What they're trying to do is to see if you caught that. Okay, this is pounds to cups and that's a cup, that's fine. That one's, those are fine. Here you go again. You're gonna have to switch that. You're gonna either turn that into quarts or this into cups. How many quarts are in a cup? You gotta know that ahead of time. There's four cups in one quart. So if I have two quarts, that's eight cups. See, that's where that equivalent conversion comes into play. This one might be a little tricky for you. I'm gonna give you, let you give a go on it. Let's see what it comes out to. Then um, you got tablespoons to teaspoons and you have to do a pre-conversion here also. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? There are three teaspoons in one tablespoon. So I might wanna change this. Three times two is six teaspoons. And then I can do my math. The other side of this page looks like this. So, same thing. If a pound is two cups, then four ounces. Uh oh, we got ounces and pounds here. So, we're going to have to change one of these units of measure. I would change this to 16 ounces and then do the math. If 16 ounces is two cups, then four ounces is how much of a cup? And then you can do your math there. So you got um, pounds to quarts, and then you got ounces here. So you're going to change this. This is ounces. This is pounds. You want to change this to 16 ounces. It's really saying the same thing. 16 ounces, two quarts, and two. 16 ounces is two quarts. Eight ounces is a cup. Then three pounds, four ounces is how many cups? Pound is three cups. Then two pounds is how many cups? If a pound is six cups, then one and a half pounds is how much? cups so you can work on those you can still use your solve for x or you some of you can still do this in your head which is fine um, but to solve for x on this I'll show you this again put the x over here we're solving for cups the four goes above it they stay together over here you got 16 ounces you got two cups then you're gonna cross multiply, so 16x here, two times four is eight. Simplify eight over 16, that's one half. So your answer is one half, okay? Then the next item, if I flip this over, your given is up here, one pound of cocoa measures four cups. Find the volume for the following. So if, this is your if, this is your then, if one pound is four cups, then 16 ounces is how many cups? And again, you got pounds and you've got ounces. So you're gonna change this to 16 ounces and then do it. If 16 ounces is four cups, then 16 ounces is four cups. That's simple. They're wanting to see if you are paying attention to your units of measure. So this one would be if 16 ounces is four cups and 24 ounces is how many cups? Okay, and you can use your solve for X on that one again as well. And that would look like twenty-four ounces here, sixteen ounces here. Four cups here, we cross multiply, and we're gonna get 16, or we can um, cross cancel here. Four goes into four once, four goes into 24, six times, and just make this one. 16, I'm sorry, cross, and then six, sorry. No, I can't do that, sorry, I messed up. I'm not doing this video over again either. We're gonna just leave it like that instead of cross canceling. So 16, 
24 times 4 96 and then you can do 96 divided by 16 sorry it's getting late in the day and I'm getting tired it'll be six cups so that's another one you can work on and these just work exactly the same way as those okay and that's a lot of math for one day take your time with it it's okay if you have any questions, get a hold of me.